Hello once again guys, I hope you're all doing absolutely great and welcome back to a brand new video and it's time for the Friday Farm once again on the Pixels 23 channel and this week we're going to be taking a look at a pet once again guys and this time it's not going to be the Emerald Whelp it's hopefully going to be the Disgusting Oozling Pet because in this video guys uh, we're going to be opening 100 oozing bags now I've got the actual page up for the oozing bags on Wowhead here so you guys can actually see uh, where these things drop from if you'd like to go out and farm some of these for yourselves uh, but basically these bags here have a chance of dropping the uh, disgusting oozling pet which can go for a pretty decent price on the AH and it is just an awesome pet in itself um, so here guys you've got all of the mobs and uh, zones that actually drop this bag um, so there are quite a few as you can see but I'll just show you where I farmed uh, during this video, as you can see the best place uh, percentage wise I guess would be the ruins of Anchorage with the Flesh Hunters um, but I actually went to the Swamp of Sorrows guys uh, for the Shifting Myoglobs because obviously if that's in an instance um, there are only only so many mobs that you can kill uh, but here you just have like endless uh, respawns so we'll just click on the actual Shifting Myoglob page and you can see in the Swamp of Sorrows here guys they are concentrated in this area and as you can see in this picture here, they are basically just little globs of goo. <laughs> and uh, they can drop many, many things, including the uh, oozing bag. And that is what we were farming in this video. Yeah, so it has a chance to drop. Da -da -da. So here are all the mats that you get inside uh, the actual oozing bags. Most of them are just mats. But if we look down here, you will see the disgusting oozling pet. So let's take a quick look at that before we actually dive into the video itself. And as you can see, it sells... Uh, well, Wowhead's gone up for about 25k. I think it's about 23k on my server at the moment. But prices will obviously differ, guys. I always state this series is not a gold-making series at all. We just like to go out every Friday and uh, try and farm up something cool in World of Warcraft. But there you go guys, that's generally where I went and what I was after. So you're going to see a little bit of footage now uh, that I recorded where we collected the last 5 bags that I needed to get 100. And then after we've got those final 5 bags, we're going to go ahead and open up all 100 of them. And fingers crossed, we will get a pet. So here we go guys. So as you'll see from this video, you'll do very well to actually run out of mobs. Um, I didn't actually follow a particular path when I was farming these Maya globs. Uh, but no matter where I was guys, there were always some more abouts and up and alive waiting to be killed. Uh, so I think they have a pretty fast uh, respawn rate. Uh, by the time I'd done kind of a circle and come back again, the mobs had already respawned. Um, so that does make for a nice fluid farm and hopefully it means you can get as many bags as you'd like sooner rather than later. I think in all it took me a couple, maybe just under three hours to actually farm uh, 100 bags. But I wasn't going flat out guys, I did have a few small breaks here and there. Um, but yeah, overall it wasn't too painful and hopefully the rewards will be worth it. Okay, so we have farmed all of our 100 oozing bags, guys, so now it's time to go and take a look. Okay, here we are, and here are all 100 oozing bags in my inventory, and I've just come next to a mailbox, guys, because just a quick heads up in case you do actually farm this pet for yourself. If you receive this pet in an oozing bag, and it's sat there in your inventory, 
and the item is actually unique so you will not be able to actually receive another pet until uh, that first one is out of your inventory so if I do actually get one I'm going to mail it off to another character and uh, then hopefully we'll be able to get a second drop but first we actually have to get that initial drop so fingers crossed we can actually do that guys uh, but I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that if you do get one guys just be aware that as long as that is in your inventory you will actually be able to loot another one so do be sure to either learn it or send it away or put it on the AH or something like that uh, before you open any more bags so anyway we are opening them right now and as you can see we are starting to get a lot of mats and we're already on bag number 10 now I believe so we're 10% of the way through guys and uh, no pet thus far these would obviously have been really nice items back in the day when all these mats were kind of uh, relevant I guess not relevant but you know like they were current that's the word that I was thinking of they were like in the current uh, version of the game uh, but now they're a little bit outdated and uh, all we're really after is that pet to be honest um, so hopefully all of that time was worth it it is a great feeling when you first see all of those bags and you think god I must get a pet out of one of those surely uh, then you start clicking them guys and it's like no pet no pet no pet so when we finish this bag uh, that will be 30 bags that we've opened in all 30 oozing bags and don't think we've got a pet so far no we haven't guys it's not looking great so that's 30 bags down guys that's almost a third of the way through and still no pet I did get a recipe though I didn't actually know you could get those so we got a tailoring recipe I think that was some sun grass just coins in that one and obviously some potions and things like that so basically you're gonna be looking at potions and uh, mats and uh, not a lot else when you open these bags guys And oh, what's that there guys? There we go, we got a disgusting oozling. How about that? So we did get one guys, so I was so happy when I actually saw that drop. Um, so we looted that, and then you'll see I just do a little crossfade in a second, because I do mail that off to my bank alt. Uh, so hopefully we can get a second drop. Okay, so we are back, and we're ready to open up the rest of the bags. Fingers crossed guys, can we get a second disgusting oozlin. I thought maybe after the last video where I got two emerald whelps uh, within one hour of farm and I thought holy crap can my luck hold? Can we get two disgusting oozlins in a video? That would be awesome. So we'll have to see guys, we'll have to see. So many mats, so many mats. Oh, and another pattern, guys, another pattern. So that's two patterns we've got right now. Okay, so that's bag number two out of the way. So that's 60 bags in total that we've just opened. Bag 3 is not looking lucky so far. More Briarthorn. Can never, can never have enough Briarthorn, right?
So yeah, if you are looking at this from a gold making perspective guys, I wouldn't advise this. I mean, now in Legion it's just so easy to make gold anyway, um, but if you're just looking to do some farming of old content to try and make some gold, I wouldn't uh, recommend uh, the disgusting oozling farm as a way to make gold. I mean, we got one and it's worth 20 odd K, but we've actually got to sell it first. And uh, let's just say it took me uh, three hours. I mean, that is still a fair markup per hour, I know, but still, it's, um, you know, we might not have got the pet and then we'd just be sat with what I have in my bags right now uh, for three hours of farming. So definitely not worth it, guys, uh, if you're going to go into it for the gold. But if you actually want the pet, um, then it's definitely worth it, guys, because um, it is a damn cool pet. And I'd highly suggest uh, farming these bags over actually going on the AH uh, to purchase it. So there you go. That is what we had left over after I opened the rest of the bags. We did not get a second pet, but at least we did get one, guys. Our hunt for the disgusting oozling was not in vain. So there we go. A few patterns, guys. A star ruby some uh, potions and uh, a lot of mats and things like that so thank you very very much for watching this video this has been the friday farm i like to do something a little bit different each week so who knows where we're going to be next week so do tune in to find out guys so until that time you guys take care behave and as always bye for now